Hey, Kevin. What are you doing? Oh, Mike was watching that video on the, get over there, was watching the video on the uh, AHP Alpha MIG that I did the other day. And he said, all right, well, great, 30 volts, that's fine, you know, yeah, it's got lots of horsepower. How does it do on the small stuff? I thought, well, okay, Mike, you asked, here it is. So I've got some uh, 0 0.047 steel, my, you know, just mild steel, that's about 18 gauge. I've got uh, 30 thousandths wire in the machine, and I thought, let's fire it up, let's see what we get, let's turn it down. So, got a nice air gap in here, you know, don't have it on the, on the, uh, on the, the thick table to sink any of the heat away, so all the heat right into that 18 gauge off the MIG, let's find out what we get. So let's start out with, oh, about 140 uh, inches a minute of wire feed. If I can get it there, come on. 141, let's go with that. And we're gonna set the voltage at, let's cool it off just a little bit. Let's go at about one, uh, about 17.6 volts. And of course we have 2T and we're on the MIG setting. Now let me turn on the gas and I'll grab my helmet. Okay, so let me get it tacked on the front and the back. <laughs> and now let's run down to the middle. Boy, back to school for me. <laughs> so you notice I, I tacked it at the front and at the back, and then came in and started running along. Uh, I saw the wire skip a couple of times. I might not have the drive roller tension set quite right. So you know, it skipped there, it skipped there, you know, it, it burned a couple little holes through. That's operator error, that's not the machine's fault. But. Let's look on the back side. So that might have actually been a little warm at 17.4, uh, I think it was. You can see where it just came through on the other side pretty good. So, so I might have just had it a little too hot. But now, let me grab my test piece and I'll show you that one. See, this is what I did before that, before the piece I just shot, you know, just worked on. Little, little dab at 15 volts, set, uh, 16 volts, 17.9 and to flip it over the 15 the 16 the 17.9 that's why i turned it down just a little bit from 17.9 i figured well that one was a little bit warm let me slow it down just a little bit but then i got that little wire hiccup in there so what do you mean by the drive roller tension oh great question here, let's look inside the machine. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so looking at the drive rollers in here, um, I've got the right size grooves in there, so it's at the right size on the wire. But yeah, right here. See, th this one is up above three. This one is at about two and a half. So that may have just been the problem. So we'll turn this guy down to three. We'll turn this one down to three. And what that does is it just pushes down on this assembly, which pushes down on the upper drive roller, which helps pinch the wire to the lower roller and helps push better. So that should fix that little that little hiccup that was in there. You know, I just I just didn't have it set quite right. My fault. <laughs> Anyways, Mike, I hope that answers your question. And you guys don't forget to come out to my website, check out what's going on out there, and sign up for my newsletter if you want to. I'll see you all next time. Okay, so let's see what we're going to get here.
I really need to turn the gas on?